Hi Aquarius, welcome to your Harsh Truth reading for May 17th through June 16th. Everything you need to know as per usual about this reading is in the description box below. Um, for the recommender reader shout outs, there are two, Halo Moon Tarot and Victor Auto. It's spelled with two D's instead of two O's. Um, much love and support to them and I will have their, I have their links in the description box below. Hopefully you get a chance to check them out and show them some love and support. Um, all right, so Aquarius, the harsh truth. The harsh truth, Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know for reals? <laughs> Aquarius, the harsh truth. Okay. All right, Aquarius. The harsh truth, Aquarius. King of Swords. Could be dealing with a Gemini. All right, so this, okay, hold on a minute. Where I start going off. <laughs> Nine of Wands, Six of Wands, Two of Swords, Four of Swords, Six of Coins, Four of Wands. Yay, Four of Wands. Okay. Good, we good. All right. Okay. So, this could be that you still want to work things out because it looks like they do. Looks like they want. I think, okay, this is like the classic case of somebody kind of being impatient, exasperated with somebody, and then the other person's like still wanting to work things out, still thinking there's a chance to work things out. What's this nine of wands? Maybe the other person is relying on a lot of friends, um, maybe talking to a lot of friends, maybe trying to en enlist their friends and either helping them or advice, going out, keeping them busy, 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 that sort of thing. What's this nine of wands about? This nine of wands for Aquarius. Okay, this jumped. Just putting that there. I think you want resolution. That's maybe not so much closer, but I think you want resolution. I think you want this to be um, resolved either through closure or look, I want this to be the last time we have to deal with this issue. So if this isn't about ending things for good. Uh, this is about, can we just get some closure on this issue that seems to keep reoccurring because I wouldn't be at this, you know, I'm still showing up, but I'm, I'm about done. I've had about enough here. So, um, if you don't want closure and, you know, or uh, an ending, you, it's least, at least it's closure or resolution to it, this issue between you. So what's this nine of wands? It could be that things have ended and this is about closure for the both of you, but either way you're about done. This nine of wands about for Aquarius. Okay. This is nine six of wands for Aquarius. What's this six of wands about? Six of wands for Aquarius. Empress. So this could be Taurus. What else we got here? Okay. So yeah, this is like. Mm, so I think they're still wanting things to work out. They either could be asking their friends, you know, to help them find somebody that's going to be the ideal partner. They could be dating um, a lot to try and find the ideal partner. Maybe they're still hoping things will work out with you to get back to that position where they feel emotionally secure and taken care of. It looks like you're kind of exasperated. This might be kind of neediness. Just saying no shade to Aquarians, uh, the cross watchers. But there's a certain level of someone kind of wanting to be taken care of and that their happiness might be like a group effort or like their happiness is, depends on other people and their gifts or their attention, that sort of thing. Whereas that it looks like that might have kind of exhausted you. Um, Aquarius, uh, yeah, Aquarius. This could be that you think they're, this could be Gemini or not Gemini, sorry, Aries or Virgo, sorry. But it looks like you might either be like, you know what, you're too, in light of what I just said, this could be about you thinking, Aquarius, that your person just is kind of needy and controlling because of that. Um, they might be kind of like just so it's like on the surface, it looks like they need you, but it's really them being very kind of demanding of your time because of that. And and you might feel controlled. This could also be like you're at the end of your rope and wanting to know how we've been through it. We have been through it. How are we going to make this work? How is this going to happen? How? How? How are we going to 
come back from this or where do we go from here? We're about done. I'm about done. I don't know if I can make this work. And there either needs to be a resolution to this issue or uh, we need, this is closure for the both of us and we just need to, you know, move on. What's this two of swords? This two of swords. So this is about someone making the first move to re, uh, let's say reinitiate. This is about someone making the first move to initiate conversation about getting things off the ground. Perhaps this is you two that you two. This was because you two were not on the same page. Um, there's kind of a feeling that when this, if this is describing a relationship for me, it always means that like two people that have the same interest, they really like doing a lot of stuff together. So it's kind of like this six of wands here. It's like there's. Everybody kind of, um, you all get together to go do this one thing because you like the companionship and you like the companionship to do the thing. Like we all go on a, you know, a ski trip or something, or we're all going to the beach or the desert or whatever the heck. But this feels like a lot of people liking to do the same thing. There's a really fun energy in the air and everybody's facilitating. Everybody contributes. Everybody brings something to the event that contributes to, you know, the memory of it, that sort of thing. So it could be that just some this could be one-sided it could be that like there's just a standstill and a there's no communication there's no forward movement there's no contribution to getting this relationship either reinvigorated or off the ground you guys are at a standstill and it's because somebody really wants things to kind of be thriving but in reality i think they want to feel taken care of whereas you're just like i'm tired I don't know that I want to keep giving to something that exhausts me and I don't know how to, we're going to come back from this or to make this work. I don't know what more I could do. Or again, it could be that you feel kind of micromanaged and controlled by that person. Aquarius. All right. Sometimes I forget who I'm talking to. I'm like, oh yeah, this is Aquarius. Um, this could be Taurus. This could be Aries. This could be Gemini. No, I keep saying that. Aries or Virgo. All right. So this is Four of Swords. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's not funny. Stop laughing. This, <laughs> this is because you're tired. You're tired. We got two sixes and two fours. So somebody's tired and somebody's irritated. <laughs> or there's just a sense of like unrest and disquiet about this whole situation here. What's this? What's this four of swords about? swords look at that this is just being exhausted wanting closure wanting resolution i just want to i want to pull back from this situation i am tired i'm exhausted i need a break from this situation what's the six of coins about six of coins they feel like they they're not they didn't get their due they want there to be um a reckoning with that they want someone to give what they think is due they want reciprocity and generosity they want an equal give and take in the relationship and they feel like that is not there that they didn't get what they wanted so this is kind of similar they really wanted more of a group effort or a communal effort um from you and they feel like they didn't get it. But I don't, I think what they don't realize though, honestly, is that you, they kind of wore you out. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I think that, I don't think they understand how kind of, I'm surprised the 10 of wands didn't show up here. Cause this just, just feels like a lot of work. This relationship feels like a lot of work. This, this magician and this king of swords could be connected here as far as you thinking that someone is very controlling and very um, hot and cold you know, very emotionally abusive or manipulative, at least, um, quite demanding. This is, this could be you cutting off communication, making the executive decision to cut things off in dealing with a Gemini Aquarius or a Libra. Um, for talking about a King for me, that's a Gemini because it, it had to come to that. Like you had to just stop contact because it just got to be too much. You just felt really controlled and wordsmithed and weesh. All right, so let's do this. All right, okay, 
for Aquarius. What's this four of wands about for Aquarius? Okay, okay, so wow. That flew out. That is the six of wands. What's this four of wands for Aquarius? What's this four of wands for Aquarius? This four of wands for Aquarius. This is four of wands for Yeah, the, okay, so we got two cards of victory here, and then we've got the hangman. And this is a four of wands. I feel like this person is kind of withdrawing or retreating or very upset because they feel like this situation is out of their control. It really bothers them that they don't have any control in the situation, and they kind of are recognizing that there's nothing I can do about the situation. But maybe they're just not receptive to it because maybe they don't understand if this is somebody that is out of their awareness that they're being so kind of demanding and needy and controlling and want, 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 then okay. But if this is somebody that's brokenhearted because they're not getting what they want and they're pulling out all the stops and being manipulative and micromanaging and controlling and needy and codependent, then nope. You know what I mean? Like, nah, but <laughs> this, it feels like someone's just going to kind of let things be because uh, they're not happy about it, but they, it, I get a little bit of victim-y here. I, it feels kind of victim-ish, like, well, there's nothing I can do about this situation. When reality, there is. This person could be a lot less demanding or needy. They could be more in charge of their own happiness or their own agency, like what they want out of life. They could be going after it instead of kind of making everything, every, like making their needs and wants more about what other people can give them or kind of relying on other people to make them happy or take care of them. They could be more, they could have more agency in their own life. They could be taking care of that themselves. Um, but I don't think they see it this way. There's a sense of, well, there's nothing I can do about this situation with them. So perhaps they feel like they need to see it that way so that they are not responsible or accountable for their own unhappiness. It's that somebody, they're disappointed in somebody not giving what they should to them. And they're really hoping that, you know, we can work this out so we can continue to thrive. You know, it's like, please help me help you. Uh, don't do that to me. Don't word salad me. Don't, no, I don't need to help you. What do you want? You tell me what you want and I'll tell you if it's realistic for me. But this is somebody that might be wanting to kind of hand over too much of their happiness or they they're very expectant of others perhaps it, it feels kind of honestly it feels needy it feels needy and for you you're just like you know <laughs> um we got two cards of victory but i don't maybe you you'd, you want things to work out aquarius but this, this seems at odds with the rest of the reading because you are tired and you want a break. And right now you two are not moving forward. There's no talking about things. Maybe this is you moving on without that person because this is victory, force, and aggression, and will. And there's an element of success here in victory, but this is about bringing two opposite things together for forward movement. And this is about the... We got six of wands twice here. This is all about... Um, success with friends or with the help of friends, adulation, public recognition, victory, that sort of thing. So I don't know, that doesn't, that kind of doesn't fit. This could be Cancerian, this could be Pisces. When these first flipped, I felt like this was you getting the hell out of Dodge, relying on friends to kind of help you extract from this situation and you planning on much forward movement and moving on from this situation that you kind of felt like was getting starting to get codependent. I think the other person really relies on you or has made you the focus of whether they can be happy or not. And I don't think that's healthy. I think there's a lot of, it's turning into a lot of pressure and control. And I think you're really feeling that and you're like, ah, I gotta go. Okay, so what? What did I want? Oh, I wanted to. I 
want, I'm going to get another deck out because I want a confirmation. Okay, all right. So can I get confirmation for Aquarius? I got like four decks going here. We confirmation card for Aquarius. Confirmation card for Aquarius. Eight of Cups. Walking away. Walking away. We've got the two of swords right here, and then we got the four of wands in crisis right here. So this is you emotionally leaving a situation. Why? Because you're exhausted. You're kind of just like, I don't know where, I don't know what more I can do. I, I think I've reached my threshold, and I think this is more about getting closure from this situation rather than resolving it. That's what it feels like to me, that you're just, you're, you're done. You're, you're done. Oops. All right. Snapshot for Aquarius. Aquarius. Snapshot. Oh, good gracious. Okay, so we've got the last card in the Lenormand deck, and then we've got clouds. So this is a very challenging, painful, disappointing relationship. This is this has an element of non-accountability to it, like um, the cross that we have to bear this sort of thing like well that's my lot in life that's a cross i had to bear this is this has an element of somebody laying something at someone else's feet this is the card of non-accountability as well things are very difficult and in crisis because someone refuses to look at a situation realistically look at their culpability um someone refuses to take responsibility so in turn it becomes everybody else's problem or somebody significant other's problem and it's like well that's my cross to bear and that dynamic is in play here, that there's a lopsidedness, um, there's control, codependency, that sort of thing, and it creates for a very stormy relationship, a relationship that is um, uncertain, there's problematic, there's a lot uh, in crisis, that sort of thing. What would, what would Aquarius this person say to them? I'm not sure you're interested in what your person would say to you, Aquarius, but let's go ahead. What would Aquarius this person say to them? Aquarius this person say to them? It's easier just to stay away right now. I would imagine you're saying that to them, honestly. Because this feels like you're already one foot out the door. And it feels like you're exasperated and tired. I don't see, you know, the Eight of Cups, yeah, but they're the ones that are heartbroken. I feel like you're more just like, maybe they want you to be heartbroken. Um, maybe they want you to come back out of heartbreak and, and want to do the right thing. Like, this is them being kind of expectant of you returning also. It could be that. Maybe, you know, it's all about them thinking that you need to wake up and realize that you're not doing right by them. And I, I don't see that here. I see them being very kind of, again, needy. This is them putting you in charge of their happiness. All right, what else for Aquarius? What else for Aquarius? Aquarius. Okay, we'll take it. That is the Knight of Wands. What else for Aquarius? Two of Swords. Yeah, Two of Swords and the Knight of Wands. So this is all about nothing. There is no forward movement. The passion, the interest in the relationship, the pursuit, the desire for this relationship is kind of, um, you're at an impasse. There's an impasse, a, I want to say like a, a, that's what it is, I say standing down, a stalemate as far as anything moving forward in the area of passion, interest, pursuit with this relationship. You could be dealing with a Leo. It doesn't have to be, but it could be a Leo. But um, yeah, this is a relationship at a standstill. And it really feels like you, you two can't see eye to eye because you're tired and they're expectant. They, there seems to be a lack of understanding how you feel. Okay, all right, Aquarius, I hope this was helpful. I hope you are able to get the closure and resolution that you want from this. Um, I, I, I can imagine how exasperated you must feel if you're, you're probably just like, you know, I'm done trying to communicate how your need makes me feel like it's, it's oppressive. And I, ugh, I, I hope that you're just able to find another way out because I really don't think this person's going to be able to understand. I don't, I think it's pointless. We got the, we got the King of Swords and the Magician here, and that can get a bit dodgy, and the Empress, all of those, if they're reversed, or at least the negative aspect, even if they're not reversed, the negative side is control and manipulation so ugh. 
Okay. Good luck with this. I hope to see you in the next reading. Take care.